G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for our round 18 predictions and tips. Once again, I am doing this uh, from the past. I am actually in Croatia right now, um, so I have missed this week's action and I'm recording this ahead of round 17. Either way, I'm gonna have a crack at tipping round 18 without knowing the results of round 17. So I do apologize for that. It does take away from the video a little bit, but you can still do your footy tips a week in advance and it still should be all sweet. So I can't do the usual thing of shouting out the weekly winners or talking about the round 17 results. I'm just gonna get stuck into this video. It may be a shorter one and I'm gonna do try and do my tips for round 18 and let's see how I go. Like I said, I'm gonna be on a party boat all weekend, um, living La Vida Loca, winning the hula hoop contest, winning the limbo contest on the deck. So I'll try my best to keep up with the footy results, but uh, for now, let's tip round 18. As always guys, gotta shout out the sponsors of the True Footy YouTube channel, manscaped.com for all your male grooming needs, whether it be chest shaving, whether it be trimming your nose hair and your ear hair. Manscaped has got everything you need all the way through to body wash, boxes, cologne, ball moisturizers, crop reviver. Did I say deodorant? It's got everything you could possibly want. So just head to manscaped.com, have a little browse. If you see something you like, use the code TRUEFOOTY20 and you will get 20% off and free shipping. Please enjoy. So we're going to rip through round 18, starting off with Sydney versus the Bulldogs. Of course, I'm using Squiggle here, guys. And what I've done is just input the same tips I did for round uh, 17, which means that the ladder you're seeing there is if I get all my tips right, which I probably didn't for round 17. So as I currently record this, Sydney are a, a few goals up against Richmond uh, in the second quarter. I think they're about four or five goals up and I did tip Sydney. So hopefully that tip is correct. And that means that they are probably actually 12th on the ladder and the Bulldogs will have just played Collingwood. So I'm going to assess on the four lines up to this point. This game being at the SCG uh, is an interesting one. These two sides met here last year on this ground and Sydney won by something like nine goals, I think. Uh, but Sydney were a stronger team back then. And while I do think we've seen some improvement from them in recent weeks, the Bulldogs are a very, very respectable team here. I give them a chance to beat Collingwood. There's a chance that they've upset them. If not, even if they lose to Collingwood, um, I still think they're still a good quality team and this will be a tough opponent for Sydney. I, I think the Bulldogs have been a better side this year, but I think on the current form line, I, I have this feeling that Sydney are on the way up. And I think this will be a thriller and either side could win this. As I said, the Bulldogs are a better side this year, but I'm gonna tip the home side in a thriller here to narrowly keep their finals chances alive. Then you've got probably the clash of the round between Melbourne and the Brisbane Lions, uh, two sides that in, in the top four. That's assuming that Melbourne beat St Kilda. I hope they did for my footy tipping, but the Demons obviously are a little bit patchy in form recently. Clayton Oliver should be back in the side. If he doesn't play against St Kilda, then he should come back in for this game at the very least. I think he was a test to play St Kilda. So he is only one player, but he is arguably their best player, um, probably just behind Petrarca actually. But regardless, that's a huge win. And I do think this is around the time Melbourne will click back into gear against a good quality team in Brisbane. Brisbane have just been absolutely stunned at the Gabba by the Eagles who won that game by a point. I don't know. Obviously, Brisbane wouldn't have lost to West Coast. I think they've given a couple of players a rest like Dunkley and Cameron going into that game. But regardless, whatever Brisbane do against West Coast is irrelevant to this game. Brisbane did beat the Ds at the MCG in last year's finals, but... I think that was a very lackluster Melbourne. You could argue it's the same lackluster Melbourne that we're currently seeing right now, but I don't think Melbourne will do this twice in a row. And I think they will come to play against Brisbane and they'll win by three goals at least. Then we've got Collingwood versus Fremantle at the MCG. This one is a doozy. I think Fremantle has the ability to win this game, not because of anything wrong with Collingwood. Um, they're 14 and two, best team in the competition. I'm assuming they didn't lose to the Western Bulldogs last week, but Fremantle is just this plucky, annoying side that can win anywhere at any time, but they could also lose at home to North Melbourne, <laughs> which is what makes this an interesting one. And I think this could be a good game. I'm going to tip Collingwood because they are the better side and you'd be crazy to tip Fremantle right now, but Fremantle are this uh, an enigmatic side that I find very, very hard to pick. And, you know, they could beat Melbourne in Melbourne. They could beat Geelong at GMHBA. I don't think it was that long ago that they beat Collingwood at the MCG. I could be wrong. Maybe that was when Collingwood wasn't that good. But either way, the Fremantle are a decent MCG side and they tend to lift when playing good teams. That's what makes them dangerous. I'm still going to tip Collingwood, but I don't feel super comfortable about this one. I'll say Collingwood by 25 points. That's what they, what did they beat them by in the semifinal last year? Something like five goals, I think. Um, we'll go 25 points. Then you've got the Gold Coast Suns and St Kilda at Heritage Bank Stadium. This one 
is a battle between two teams that tend to have thrillers against each other. There's usually a good game between these two sides for whatever reason. Gold Coast have been up and down with their form. They had that shocking loss to Carlton. They annihilated Hawthorne. Uh, they're a little bit up and down. They just got annihilated by Collingwood is the most recent loss um, that we that I have seen going into this game. At home though, you know, they're, they're a little bit bipolar to, to be honest. You know, when they're on, they're on and when they're not, they're not. And St Kilda has been pretty unconvincing for a number of weeks now. And that's why I think that I actually think I'm going to tip the Gold Coast Suns in this game, regardless of how St Kilda do against Melbourne. They could upset them, but I think this is actually a tough away trip for St Kilda, and I'm going to tip Gold Coast in a surprise win by 18 points. Actually, it'll be closer than that. Let's say 12 points. Carlton then play Port Adelaide at Marvel Stadium. We've seen some improvement from Carlton, obviously not knowing what they did in round 17, but prior to that, um, they look like not only did they just beat up on some easy teams, it looks like their synergy and the way they're playing and their midfield production is better than it has been all year. So we might have seen a little bit of a lift from Carlton here, and their season is very, very much on the line. Port Adelaide, on the other hand, are playing for top two. Uh, haven't really put a foot wrong this year. Again, not knowing how they went against the Gold Coast Suns, it doesn't really matter, because in my opinion, they are far too good for Carlton, and I'll be shocked if Carlton uh, spring an upset here. I'll say Port Adelaide win this by a healthy 31 points, to be honest. Then Geelong versus Essendon at uh, GMHBA. These two sides met early this year and the Cats got uh, the better of Essendon by about five goals in the end. It was a pretty high scoring affair from memory. Both teams scored over 100. At GMHBA, I think Geelong is going to be too tough to beat, to be honest. Essendon have been solid at times this year. And uh, again, I'm, I'm really intrigued to see how they go against Adelaide, which is uh, tomorrow as when I record this or the day after. So a little bit less data to go off. Um, that is a really, really crucial game. But I do think that this Geelong trip will be too tough for them and Geelong will uh, prevail and you know we're getting closer to finals now we're expecting a better Geelong Geelong will win this by four goals Adelaide versus GWS now this is an interesting one because I have a feeling that the Giants have a knack of beating Adelaide um, and uh, admittedly Adelaide are a much stronger team this year than they have been in previous years but uh, GWF beat them earlier this year and uh, then I feel like you know the last couple of years I've had big wins at Adelaide Oval off the top of my head so how teams match up against each other it does come into my thinking quite a lot here and GWS have improved massively having beaten the Demons uh, and I think you know prior to round uh, 17 they have won four of their last five so this is a tough opponent for Adelaide I do think though Adelaide have proven themselves to be so good at home and so damaging this year that it's impossible to tip against them but this could be a really good game more so I say that out of respect for the Giants and their improvement and as I look at the ladder now they're still absolutely within touching distance of the top eight so this is a danger game for Adelaide I'm still going to tip them because uh, you'd be brave not to but I think this could be I reckon I'm going to tip the Crows by one point let's say it's an absolute doozy North Melbourne versus Hawthorne is a tricky one gee whiz uh, Sicily's back in the side and that is such a, a key component of, um, of tipping whether, whether you tip Hawthorne or whether you don't North Melbourne have shown some improved form in the last couple of weeks really in terms of their ability to, to match it for periods of games they've been competitive against some sides much better than them and uh, and they haven't been embarrassed that being said it's been 14 losses in a row assuming they lost last week uh, to Geelong at GMHBA so yeah I'm going to assume North Melbourne lost that game it's 14 on the trot this is a tough one because you just I feel like you're more likely to know what you're going to get out of North Melbourne in this game than you are uh, with Hawthorne. This is going to be a tricky one. Hawthorne are the better side at the moment, but I'm getting upset vibes from this game. Um, and it really depends, you know, are North Melbourne are serious, seriously looking at pick one this year and and um, trying to avoid winning too many games to get uh, too far ahead of West Coast? I don't know. I'm going to say North Melbourne is bringing upset here and they win this by... 16 points. It's an upset. Hawthorne are better. North Melbourne win the game. West Coast versus Richmond. Now, this one actually, call me, call me crazy. Call me crazy. This is one of West Coast's two last winnable games this year. And I say winnable because Richmond have fallen off a cliff in recent times. They had a bit of a resurgence under McWalter. I say that um, it's a little bit disrespectful, perhaps, because they only just got um, beaten by... Brisbane, but let's check the score of them versus Sydney. It is currently only 18 points at half time, so maybe I'm being a little bit disrespectful there. But they are a long way off the, the teams competing for the top eight this year, and they have been patchy. And if West Coast can bring in energy to the game like they did against St Kilda, then this game is winnable, and there should, in theory, be a few more soldiers back. Um, West Coast rested Shuey and Hearn for Brisbane, and uh, they should come back into the side, McGovern, Cole. Again, a touch wood because there could be four more injuries by the time I say this. That, that is genuinely just me being an Eagles fan, wanting to tip my club. Richmond are better though, comfortably better, comfortably better. 
but West Coast have some potential to just show up in front of a home crowd and do what they did against St Kilda and potentially win. And St Kilda is a better side than Richmond. That being said, I'm gonna tip Richmond comfortably. <laughs> if Richmond come up and play with this game with the appropriate um, intent and energy, they'll win by 40 points. But uh, I may change this tip closer to the actual game. So there you have it guys, that is my round 18 predictions. Thank you for bearing with me. Obviously I'm doing that a week in advance and I didn't see any of the results from round 17, but I can still have a pretty good crack at it. Um, in terms of the ladder, we've still got Brisbane in third, Melbourne back in fourth, having beaten um, St Kilda by my prediction and Brisbane. Adelaide uh, shore, shore up fifth spot, that's good. Uh, the Cats into sixth. The Saints sliding a little bit, uh, assuming they've lost two on the bounce to Melbourne and then I've tipped them to lose to Gold Coast and the Bulldogs just hanging on to eighth spot there. But Sydney is the climber there in ninth. I have them beating Richmond. I have them beating the Western Bulldogs. Essendon all the way down in 10th. That's a bit of a slide. Fremantle could be higher than that because I got this weird feeling they might upset Collingwood. It's probably ridiculous to be honest. And, and Pies fans are going to come at me for that thinking that I'm talking shit about them. I'm really not. They are the best team. I'm just trying to pick a few upsets here. And then finally at the bottom of the ladder there, assuming West Coast do lose to Richmond um, and, uh, and uh, if I get that North tip right, then it pretty much locks up pick one for West Coast, which uh, we're the real winners, obviously. Anyway, guys, thank you for bearing with me for that. Um, as always, I welcome your comments and uh, your own predictions in the comments section below. Appreciate you thumbing up the video if you liked it. It would help me from an algorithm point of view. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.